Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube's first and only show where we look at and review five fresh games off GameJolt.com. If you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and maybe check out our Discord community and hang out with the developers. Without further ado, let's get going. Alright, so the first game we're going to be playing today is called Slime Slayer. Now this is kind of a pseudo open world questing zombie killing game that has a power up mechanic that I'm really interested to see fleshed out a little bit more. The things I liked about it right off the bat were the art style, the super pixelated uh, really doesn't make you focus on the character as much so it allows you to focus on the gameplay which is really actually smooth. Surprisingly, it feels pretty good to run around. The teleportation doesn't feel like it lags, and the combat seems like it's pretty responsive. Though there are a few glitches when it comes to using the sword against a certain type of enemy, which you'll see here in a little bit. The uh, dialogue seems interesting so far. I'm not entirely convinced on where the story is going, so I don't know what to say in regards to that. I don't think there's enough in the game currently to really show what you've developed as far as story goes. I also found that there wasn't much available to do, which that's probably because this is an early alpha, so more development coming on that soon. And what you just saw was that glitch with the sword. Anytime you strike those guys with the sword, they duplicate. I don't know if that, that might actually not be a glitch. Might not be, which it's kind of cool if it's not. The audio actually fits pretty well here as well. At first I was kind of turned off to it because it felt kind of mellow compared to what was going on. But it kind of helped me relax and made this game that seems like it's going to get pretty hard feel more relaxing and casual overall. So, really well done there. The controls, super straightforward, so well done with that. Alright, now we're going to get into the first iteration of a ranking system that I came up with. Now, this isn't to say that, hey, somebody's game is better than yours or your game is bad. This is just to say, hey, this is where I think you're currently at and what I think you can do to improve or to challenge yourself. So we're going to try all this and see how this works out. But the first category, we're going to do a simplified scale here for the weekly wrap up. The first category is going to be aesthetics, which is going to be your audio and your art style. In this category, I'd call you an intermediate with this because you have a game that flows together really well. The art and the audio really make sense together. However, I'm not sure if you made the audio, so if you made it, then you get extra points and the low poly art style isn't as difficult as some others may be and I think there's definitely places in this game where you can work in your art skills such as particle effects, dynamic shadows, I, I don't know I started that sentence and couldn't figure out where it's going to be. I think you're good at art, I think you just need to let that loose and let your creativity show. Next is going to be the level design. Level design I'm also going to give you an intermediate because there isn't really much level design done here, it's just an alpha so you really don't have a ton done yet, which is fine, that's okay. More is going to come as you continue working on the alpha, so I encourage you to think about how you can make your levels more creative. And the last piece here is going to be mechanics, now that's going to be your controls and complex uh, weapons or reactions inside your game, and again I'm going to give it an intermediate. Now that is because there aren't very many complex mechanics, but the mechanics you have are very smooth and feel fluid to use. So keep up the great work there. I would encourage you to think about what makes your game unique again. Like I encourage just about everybody on this channel. I think you've got a great thing going here and I'm looking forward to see what it turns into. All right, game number two today is gonna be Jail Haunt. This is kind of a side-scroller, horror story, maybe RPG game that I thought was pretty cool. The art style is pretty interesting. Uh, I think there's a story coming together. The idea of it's pretty straightforward. Seems like a haunted jail and something weird's going on, which is pretty straightforward enough as far as horror games go or even spooky ghost games go. The thing that I think needs a little bit more work or maybe a little bit more develop is just more levels is pretty short, which is fine. I mean, you're just starting out development, so it is what it is there. I look forward to seeing more of this. I think you're on a great path for a cool story. The thing I really didn't understand is why does it seem like the player has a gun? I don't see any use for it in this demo, and the character is definitely not holding a weapon. So I think for your next release, you should definitely either get rid of the gun or make it make sense inside this 
realm. Give him a gun that we can visibly see. It doesn't need to do anything other than just be there and shoot, or give us something to shoot at. I'm not really sure what the bad guy in this game is, which I'm sure that's deliberate. I'm also not entirely sure where there's a prison bar where it is. One thing I will say I did like is the flashlight looks pretty cool. The way the light fades out, that looks really well done. So, kudos there. So, now let's just get into the rankings for this game. It's because there's really not a whole lot more to talk about other than what I've already mentioned. So, as far as uh, aesthetics go, I definitely give you an intermediate here because the art style looks very good. There's just not a lot going on yet, and I'd like to see some enemy animations before I know it, confidently move you up to the next level. What you have is pretty cool. The animation of the main character is kind of rough, but it's okay. It makes sense. If that's what you're going for, then it works. The light looks pretty good. The background looks pretty cool. I would find something to do with the top half of the screen. It felt very empty because it really is empty. Other than that, I don't really have anything to mention about that. Level design, I think it's kind of cool that you have multiple rooms the player can go to. So, it's kind of an adventure. Maybe in the empty space above it, add like a mini-map of rooms you've explored. I don't know, maybe that's a good idea, maybe that's not what you're going for. As far as actual like writing and story going into this, I'm not entirely sure what the story is, nor am I convinced that there's a lot of story going into it. So I'd like to see more before I move you above and intermediate in this category. And then, as far as mechanics, there's really only a move and a jump and then a shoot, which are pretty straightforward mechanics, so I'm going to have to give you a beginner on this one. It's pretty easy to move from beginner to intermediate, to be honest, so maybe adding something to shoot and some kind of combat mechanic would definitely help out my opinion on this. I think you're well on your way to being good at all these things. I'd like to see more story and more mechanics coming out of this game in the next couple releases. So I'll just be staying tuned to see what you come up with then. Game number three, let's go. So this game is called Rage Simulator. Now this is, as you might imagine, a rage platformer. The thing I really didn't understand is why you chose the buttons you did for this game. The platforming is hard enough as it is, I don't know why you chose to do weird controls with it, that really didn't make any sense. I personally don't like having to search for the controls I'm supposed to use to just move around, that should be intuitive. If you want to add some interesting mechanics along with it, then by all means, but I shouldn't have to go searching for what my move forward and backward button is. That's just my opinion. Some of you might disagree, maybe that's just what you're going for this game. As far as graphics go in this, not bad. It's, it's alright, it looks like a rage platformer, it plays like it, there's weird elements in it that make it a rage platformer, and as far as they go, yeah, I got pretty angry while I was playtesting this game, so as far as rage inducing goes, you nail nailed it. I did like the different obstacles you saw or threw out here. Some of them I'd seen before in other Rage platformers. This actually felt like I was playing a different game than I actually was at first because the first couple obstacles were so familiar. But that's alright, there's only so many obstacles you can actually throw in Rage platformers and I tend to come across a lot since platformers are really the main game that I like to play. So now getting into the ranking system, let's go with aesthetics here. I think the aesthetics were pretty good. They uh, all flowed together very well. It looks like you're using some stock images or platforms. So, I don't know, but you managed to throw them together in a way that works nice and looks pretty good. So I'm going to throw Intermediate at, your, at you for this rank. Uh, I'd like to hear if they were your own. I'd also like to see a bit more animations. Um, it definitely felt like you grabbed the animations from somewhere else as well because the jump didn't really make any sense with what I was actually doing. But then again, maybe I'm just being overcritical and I play way too many games. As far as design goes, like I said, I've seen some of these obstacles before and there's really only so many you can throw into a Rage platformer, so I'm going to throw an Intermediate there. I know it seems like I'm being really harsh and throwing Intermediate at just about everything, but anything above an Intermediate I feel is going to be difficult to get and should be difficult to get, so when you get it, you get it and you feel good about it. And again, these aren't ratings based on your actual ability. These are based on what I see in this game specifically. 
I don't know how much I can really rate you individually since I don't really know you and I don't know how many games are out there that you've made. I'm just looking at this one specifically. But now, let's take a look at mechanics. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the keys, and I've made that vocally clear. And other than just moving around, there really aren't that many mechanics that you have to do. So I'm going to have to throw beginner at this one because I don't see any mechanics other than run and jump and camera move. And I think that throwing some other things in here, maybe there's some things later in the game where you actually flip cameras around and do other things. Um, that might help you a little bit as far as ability goes in this game, and that might improve your score to intermediate, but I don't know. I didn't get there. I got frustrated after like 12 minutes of trying to get by it. But keep it up. I think you're on the right track for a Rage platformer, and I'd like to see what you come up with as far as even other levels or other games. I think that could be pretty cool. All right, game number four is called Virus Rush, which is this kind of top-down shooter run around game that I didn't quite figure out what the actual objective was other than to shoot things. I did like this game because the art style and there was a little bit of music that made me interested in the game and I was curious to see what was going on, although I did find that it was more difficult than it really needed to be and I didn't understand the little red dots flying around that seemed to just block every path that I wanted to go to and they were really hard to move around with kind of the uh, clippy movement scheme. It was pretty cool though. So let's just jump into ranking this just because it is pretty short and I don't have much diverse footage of the game itself. So as far as aesthetics go, I really like the theme of this. I think you're on the right track. I like the music. I like how each thing kind of has its own art thing and then there's this little animation at the end. So I'm going to give you the high tier of intermediate. There really isn't any differentiation. It's pretty close though. Uh, for aesthetics, I'd like to hear more of a gun sound effect or a shoot or maybe some ambient sounds other than just the music in the background. But you're really close there and I really like where you're going with this. You definitely have talent if these are your assets. Uh, if they're not, well then I don't know what to tell you. As far as level design goes, I think you laid this out pretty well and you added different variety of enemies to shoot at as well as different places to go, though I'm not really sure how much left there is. It definitely looks like you're doing a very good job with level design, so again, I'm going to give you the intermediate rank here because I didn't get to experience a lot of it, and I'd like to see maybe some more environmental, not hazards, but interaction points. Right now, it just seems like the controls are a little clippy, but then as far as mechanics go, I do like the shooting, I do like everything else that's going around, you're definitely on your way, so that's why I'm going to give you intermediate here. This game is pretty cool, and I'd like to see where it's going in the future, maybe add some more unique mechanics in it to rank up. Alright, our fifth and final game for today is called Horologia. Now this game looks awesome, it feels awesome when you're playing it, it actually feels really difficult. I love the gameplay, I love the look of the guns, and it's actually pretty difficult as you'll see when I'm playing, I die a lot. Now maybe that's just because I'm trying to go through it too fast, or not actually thinking about what I'm doing, but it feels it feels fun, honestly. The reload animation, while it is clippy, but that, that's the art style it's going for, so it looks really smooth, and this hand-drawn aesthetic is pretty awesome, and I love every second of it. The enemies seem interesting, and the 2D nature, again, working to your advantage here, just really brings the whole world together and makes me feel like I'm actually fighting something like a hologram. I don't know what you're going for here. I wish I could have gotten further, but I just could not get past the second level. I feel like I'm so bad at this game. But thus, we move on to the ranking, and as far as aesthetics go, I give you a proficient here. This looks awesome. I'd like to see maybe smoother animations of it to move up a rank. Uh, that's really hard and takes a lot of time, but that rank takes a lot of effort to get. As far as level design goes, I didn't really get to experience a lot, but it looks like all the levels are taking into account the theme of the game. It almost feels kind of steampunky, so that's pretty awesome. Your enemies are in interesting spots, although some seem to randomly spawn there, so I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I also don't know much of what the story is going into this, so I'm going to have to give you an intermediate here. Mechanics are pretty straightforward. Jump, move, look, and shoot. 
So that's going to be an intermediate there. I, I feel like controls and mechanics are the hardest ones to actually get above. Uh, I'd like to see some sort of time control in this, since it seems like time and gears have a lot to do with what the game's about. I think time control would work perfectly in this game. But I love this, and I look forward with bated breath the next installments of this game so keep up the good work all of the developers and if you guys aren't aware all of the links to all these games are down in the description below and if you're new here maybe think about subscribing and hanging out with the rest of the developers in the discord and playing some of these awesome games but guys until next time please take care of yourself because i will see you later